Hey, what's happening? It's me, your buddy Daryl. Hey, I'm the one. Yeah. Anyway, he was wondering what I look like. Here I am. So anyway, here's the contraption here that I put together for uh, my remote camera operation. Uh, I got a, a, a on the stick over here. There's a uh, a China hat that goes right, left, up and down. Uh, I've got a on and off switch for the power to the unit. And once I turn that unit on, um, turn to the right. It goes to the right, push it to the left, it goes to the left, push it up, down, whatever you want to do. It's all at the thumb control on the stick. You want to take a look at the chute? You just put that baby up there. You want to come down, look at the prop, get a little entertainment in there. You can come around here. And if we want, we can take your picture right here with that as well and right here on the stick is the this is really slick right here there's one two three four five six there's six different switches on this stick right here now this one right here which would normally on a, on a jet fighter as I would think of it, it um, this is my push to talk button right here now eventually what I'm gonna do is I'll probably remove the power from uh, the dash to over here so I can control everything right from here but there's several different configurations. You can these are momentary switches, or always on or always off, or you can click them. You got to go to the website. This guy's got every switch in the world. This is a really nice unit. It's not a cheap plastic-made thing. It's it's aircraft quality, and I believe he just said he got FAA approved. So you know, check it out. And read what he's got to say about it. But this is how we do it right here. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get it to the point where it doesn't vibrate. Uh, I got a little bit of vibration in there when I mount a full-size camera. I'd like to put a regular. You know video camera in there but the weight of it just causes it to uh, vibrate just too much at this point I've got some ideas to isolate the vibration uh, closing in on it I made uh, some progress today put some additional uh, isolators in there for vibration and it, uh, it toned it down some and I got one more idea I'm not gonna discuss it but uh, uh, too much detail to get into it but I've got some ideas I want to try to just basically insulate the camera from the unit uh, one more time and we'll see, my, my goal is to get a, a high definition camera in that mount right there so that uh, we can get some good footage when we get out to Utah this fall. So there it is, the, uh, the video camera, remote video camera mounted on the Buckeye Eagle LX right here. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Stay tuned. We'll be back again.